The story that you're about to see, well, it's basically true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is not a movie. It's not a documentary. It's a mockumentary. And for you stupid motherfuckers out there that don't know what that is, get your damn cell phones and look that shit up. Enjoy the mockumentary. They say I'm just a nigga. Yeah. What up? So I guess. I guess. I'm just a nigga, just a nigga. From the motherfucking streets. Been selling tickets cause I'm on, on the come up. Been down so low that it's time for the come up. I'm in the streets and I'm trying to get commas. Get filthy rich and take care of my mama. Avoid all the drama that's truth in their lies. Trying to get contracts and pay with my guys. Close at the top and I feel it inside me. Cause I need some money to ease my mind. I am gon' rise to the top My mama told me never stop T, I'ma keep hustling real hard Getting that paper, that real job I was gon' try to be better for you Guaranteed that the haters for T Drive, drive just to be the best I'ma try to live in Mechelen I am gon' rise to the top My mama told me never stop T, I'ma keep hustling real hard Getting that paper, that real job I always try to be a better person Yeah, stupid man. <laughs> Milkman. This a brother who laughed his way through life trying to make the best of it. All he did was beat after beat, but never made a dime. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm telling you right now, you better shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm serious. I'm gonna shoot you right in the fucking head, bro. That is up. Now, life. <laughs> yeah, you gonna be about that life, all right? Now look. <laughs> Explain this social media shit. I understand. I get the money from the hoes. I know. I'm slinging dick. We're stealing. We're getting money. We're taking money. Taking no names and numbers. I got it. Now run down this whole social media. We got cameramen filming us and recording everything we do. What are we doing with that, bro? All right, look. Making a fucking movie? Social media, dog. We're going to film our journey and post it. So give it to them for free? Fuck that. Yeah. Nah, man, we do this, we make a movie. That way, once we get this this contract, I get it. It's our story, I guess, man. I don't get that whole social media bullshit. No. But I get it. We sell, I ain't giving shit away. We sell it, bro. We sell it. So we're making a movie. How's no. that sound? It's not a movie. It's like a documentary mixed with one of those. It's called a mockumentary. After 20 years in the movie game, Big Papa is finally facing the fact that this could be his last hoorah. Oh, shit. I get no younger. Gotta go get this contract. If I don't get it this time. Ain't gonna be no next time. Tiffany Kardashian, Tree Farm heiress, is madly in love with Big Papa, and this bitch out of her mind. This nigga bet not show up over here. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. His ass bet not get out that damn car. And she, oh hell no, this bitch carrying luggage? Mm -mm. 
get you, get your ass out. You better not get your ass out there. Oh. Lazy Dub. He's a nigga, but you can obviously tell that he's white. But don't tell him that. The fuck is all of this? What's up with the shotgun, bro? You knew he was coming. Shit. You know how we get down right here, homie? Damn. You know what this spot is? Hey, bro, like, what's up with these cameras, man? Check check it, man. First of all, no addresses. This was his. That's off top. That's off top. But this was his idea, and I wasn't feeling it until he ran this past me. Mm -hmm. We're making this, um, like, what the fuck is it, man? Mockumentary. The fuck is a mockumentary? Some social that's, media shit. Bro. That's what I said. Check it. What we gonna do? We're gonna film the whole journey, right? We niggas from the street, man. That's the bottom line. When we get this paper, we're gonna get this paper till we get that contract. We filming the whole thing, dog. So once the movie come out with your music, with your music, how that sound? You gonna put my music in it? With your music, as long as we have the same percentage. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so we bring this out with your music. Mm -hmm. First, we come out with the movie. The shit's gonna hit, you know it is, man. There ain't no niggas doing what we about to do right now. You feeling that? Then we come out, what the fuck is the name? The movie, man. Fuck, what do you call it? Mockumentary. I don't give a fuck about that, man. We come out with the live shit, us doing this shit. The road trip, tapping some ass. <laughs> Tap some ass. Fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, let's yeah. do this shit. Let's do this Yo, what's up with Fat Boy, man? Who's he? And this is my manager, bro. Packing and shit, man? You already know how we get down. I know how you get down. I don't know this motherfucker. Manuel from Chihuahua, Mexico is illegal as fuck. And he does a lot of illegal shit. He's also the money behind Lazy Dub. Let's he, get the fuck out of here. He with me, bro. We got to roll. I'm not comfortable with somebody sitting in my ride, man, packing, that I don't know, sitting behind me. I ain't comfortable with that, bro. Me you either. strapped, right? I am strapped, bro, but my shit's in the trunk. I mean, you can stay strapped. I ain't got a problem with you, because you got my back. I don't know this motherfucker, man. Look, to be solid... Glasses and shit. To be solid, check this out. We'll put our shit with yours. How about that? He good with that? He with me. You all right, man? All right, all right, man, I'm good. Let's do this shit. Let's go, man, we're wasting time. Your manager got a name, bro? J-Lo. J-Lo. Your turn. Shut up. That's my shit right there, man. What's that on your ankle? None of your fucking business, man. My shit's right there. Better? 
Happy? Yeah. Good. 100. Your manager, can you manage some fucking gas? Tiene feria para gasolina. Te va, negro. I don't like that Spanish shit, man. Just so you know. Here, man. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Speaking of Spanish shit to me. Emerald City. What is it? Emerald City. Emerald City? Where's the ride? Come on. This is all new for me. I ain't seen none of this. No, the City of Angels, man. Any of any of this right here, the Emerald City, any of these last little cities we didn't drove through, I haven't been to any of this. It's my first time. You never been to the Emerald City? Nope. I'm sure you haven't. Your name ain't Dorothy, is it? <laughs> Keisha, an insecure hairstylist with two kids and two baby daddies. Now she got a new man, and she don't believe a word this nigga say. Move, milk man. I know that nigga up in here. Man. Old school. How you find out about old school? Where you at? Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Shh. What, what, what's going on? What, nigga, what what what, what's up? What the hell you doing here? What you mean I'm doing? What, what you doing here? We are working. Are you serious right now? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm serious. I saw you come up in here with that white girl. You saw me come up here with a white girl? Yeah, I did. Or you saw me come up here with him? <laughs> that's his investment. What the, stop fucking, man, this ain't funny. See, that's how stupid it is to him. I can't believe you're tripping like this. Look over, move out the way. Milkman, look at that. <laughs> Go look at that. Go punch any one of those keys so you can have music. And see the film I'm working on, you told me you was proud of me. Go on, I don't care. So you got a couple new computers, okay? Who that white girl? Oh, 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 God, oh, God. Baby, hold it, hold it, hold it. Do you know what those are? We cannot afford those things. That hard drive right there is $3,500. That mothership, whatever the hell they call it. Mm. What you tripping on? That's why I'm riding on that old ass car? I told you when it's over, what I tell you? Mm. what I tell you? Huh? You said I'm getting some new shit. You said you want a new Mercedes, SL, convertible. Mm -hmm. That's what you said, that's what I'm getting you. You need to stop tripping. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing here. I make some coffee. Look, come over here. How I like my coffee? How you like your coffee, baby? I like it sweet. Get over here. Let me take this shit out. Yes, I am. I'm back. Stay in your spot, woman. And tongue action. Karen, rich and single and happy to be so. She likes her men over easy and lives her life wild and free. Damn! Get out the damn car! Damn! Oh, your friends. Yeah, this is T Money. Right there. How you doing? That's Jesse. And that's my man. You gotta meet this brother. He's Italian. Nice. Yes. Hey man, can I get some? J actually, J Lo. J Lo. J Lo. Yes. Tell me what's, what's your. Duh. 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 What? Lazy Duh. Lazy Duh. Now you gotta get used to this. So we got J Lo. I'm Mr. Lazy. Lazy Dub and T Money. That's right. That's Hello, right. Did you hear that shit? Hey, brother. Lazy Dub. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Lazy Dub. Welcome. Go ahead, baby. Go in the house. Oh, oh, oh. We're hungry. Come on. You got that check, right, for that 15 grand? Whatever you need. Whatever I need? 
Well, I need a little gas money also. Right, let's just make that 20 grand. She called us pussies. <laughs> Yeah, man. So she drove me. Y'all heard that I'm taking that bitch a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they gonna believe? He scared me. He's been so awful. He's so mean. He's scary. <laughs> See, she got him down. so innocent. Oh I my god. It. I'm so afraid of him. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> and that's how we end up getting life. All right, we're gonna jump in my ride after we get finished here and head out. Who's right? Hey. I know you didn't just say you about to jump in your ride. That is not your ride, boy. That is not your ride. What you trying to say, man? That it's not your ride. <laughs> I said it's my ride. Okay. That is not your ride. We know whose ride that is. Karen's. It's all good, big papa. Homie, you ain't got a front with us, my boy. It's my ride. That's my bitch, man. That's my girl. That's Snowflake. 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 She <laughs> take care of me, and I take care of her. You feel me? You find my charger, bro? Yeah. Go on. I have this, and I have, uh, like, just one foot. Here's your keys. Outside. Not to get off track, but back to that prayer shit you was doing. You say prayers all the time at your house? Nah, I don't. But I figured there's something that we should do. Give thanks for for these blessings that we got. You know what I mean? Trying something new. Take, take a new approach. New approach of what? Life. Like those tattoos? Yeah. Something different. Should tell you the truth. If I could take them off, I probably would. Now y'all hold on there. I see the looks on you guys' faces. Don't go judging them. Because even Big Papa need a little church. Well, I mean mainly because his daddy's the pastor. And his mama, well, she the first lady. And Big Papa knew Sunday was a day for giving. So, hallelujah. <laughs> Go on with your bad self, Big Papa. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. I want to leave you with a final blessing from the First Lady. She has an insight into the needs for prayer for the young entrepreneurs we have in here who are about to go do it. And they have our blessing and our backing. And the First Lady is going to bless you with an anointed prayer. If anybody has anything to say in reference to what the pastor has said about let he who is without sin cast the first stone, please stand and make any comment that you feel necessary. Anyone? Please feel free. You're invited. We want to hear what you have to say. You know what? I really didn't even want to come in here. I don't even believe in this. Excuse me. Yes. I don't believe in these things, these, this stuff. But like what the pastor was talking about, like I, like, like I caught on to that. Like, you know, I li I've lived a crazy life. And I'm trying. I am. I am going to make a change. Amen. I, yeah, I'm not, not going to try. Amen. Yo, yo, what the fuck you doing? Let's get the fuck out of here, man. What are you doing? I have no gain in that. There's no gain in that. Nothing to win there, no. No future at all. Who's gonna teach my kids if I'm not there to teach them? You need to be there, brother. And I never understood that about judging people and stuff. I like, what is uh, all that thou shalt not judge? Like, I, I never understood that. But from what the pastor said today, 
I think I get it now. It's gonna, it's gonna make my back heavy to worry about judging somebody else. So can we say that prayer? I really don't know how to say one, but I figure maybe you do. My apostle's a pastor. It's very important to recall, to keep in mind that you're not here to see how much sex you can have. You're not here to see how much dope you can do or how much alcohol you can drink. Now, I'm not making a moral judgment on those things. I'm simply saying to you that that's not your purpose. You're here to bring about an increase of good, an increase of God first in your life and then in the lives of those around you. You know, once you become full of the feeling, once you become fulfilled, it, it just oozes out of you. Amen. Amen. Whatever you're full of will ooze from you. Amen. Whatever you're full of. Sometimes what you're full of oozes from you so loudly that the folks you're dealing with can't even hear what you're saying. Hallelujah. Beware. Hallelujah. Beware. <laughs> but more importantly, she has a connection with the divine that will ensure that your endeavors are blessed. Yeah, I know how to say it for you. I mean, we're done eating now. Is that the only way you do it is before the meal? Can we do it after? Feels like family to me, you know what I mean? Like something we should do. Nice. This feels like family to you? Yeah. You must have had a fucked up life. Maybe I did. Wash my hands real quick. Yo, nigga, get over here, man. He wants me to pray. All right, I just want to wash my hands real fast. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and easy. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I love church. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you sure this is what the pastor meant when he said, let it flow? Yes, let it flow. Let it ooze from your soul. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you keep it secret? Yeah. The pastor? Uh -huh. He's my daddy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. I knew from the moment I walked in the church, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew right then and there, the moment I saw you, mm -hmm. it was love at first sight. Oh. Really? Yeah, oh, really. Oh, oh, mm. oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes, nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. nice and slow. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Oh, make it last. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, uh huh. Take it deeper. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, yes. Oh, yes, deeper. Oh, no, no, take your time. Oh, nice and slow. Can you take it all for me? You can? Oh, yes, take it all. Oh, that's right. Oh, keep going. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 girl. I think I'm gonna come. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's love right there. Oh, yes. Are you sure they can't see us through these windows? Girl, I know what you do for a living. There's no way I would jeopardize your reputation. Oh, 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 yes. I'm gonna come. Here, here. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Dear God, I want to thank you for Yo, man, I, I, if I'm going to say a prayer, I say it my way. So if y'all don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, man. God, I don't know what to say. We're going to Cali. Um, we're together. I guess you, you have a plan. At least that's what they say. That's why we're here. And... We all from the streets. None of us trying to play hard or anything because we was truly hard. I guess we would never really spend any time in jail. So if we hard, we stupid hard. I want to be smart hard. I want to go get that contract. <clears throat> and really, it's not about the money, man. It's just that I want people to know my story. Um, when I make a movie, it's a story. You know, my story to be shared with everyone. As with your music. I appreciate your, your music. Your acting is over the top, man. I don't really even like you, though, to be honest with you. And I can't stand him. 
but we're here, which is kind of weird. And you say you want to pray? So we pray. I hope you bless us, watch over us, get us to LA. I hope we don't have to do what we do. Do it different, I guess, like you said. Um, do it right, I guess, as right as we can. I guess what you're saying is leave the violence aside, change. So God, please help me change because sometimes I get a little lost and um, the world can be cruel. So God, please help me be a better me and um, get us all there safe and get this boy back to Mexico so he can go speak Spanish to his people. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. 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 Right. You gotta do this, man. What's your shirt say? 50% air, 50% water. That glass full or is it empty? Why don't you give me that camera, bro? All right. While you're filming people, what's your punk ass gonna do if we get up in that office and she tells you she wanna hear or see some shit? What you gonna do then? All right, guess what? It just depends. I can give her the acapella or I could give her something else. Why you know what I little, mean? Do a little bit of both. All right. Take your time, sweetheart. I don't need time. I just want to do you right, cause I need you by my side. I just want to do you right. I done made some wrong decisions in life. I just want to do you right. I done given up on this fight. I just want to do you right. I just want to do you right. All right, all right. right. Nigga. Yo, man. I'm about to shoot this Mexican motherfucker, man. <laughs> First of all, he told me I owe him 25%. He be fucking with me. Y'all already know he come up in the desert, like for real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I give set. up. Damn! Life! <laughs> good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. All right. You all right, man? Yo, man, there you go again. I told you with the Spanish shit, man. I don't like it, man. What the fuck's his problem? I said I don't like it. He did it at my house, now he's doing it. You know what, man? I'm done with him, man. This shit's over. You rolling? You yeah, rolling with me or not? Of course I'm You going? Rolling. I'm going, man. Fuck him. He stay here, man. I'm out. Uh. I'm done with that. Man. I'm already told him. Let's go, man. You can hear it. Like I said, go press. What is it? No, it's all right. All right. You can go look. Go look around the house. Old girl sleeping up in her room. Yeah. She upstairs sleeping. Yeah. He up there with her, not me. He put her to sleep. <laughs> that must be some serious dick. You putting bitches to sleep. Well, baby, you know when I'm with you, you always go to sleep. I mean, sometime. Yeah, baby, you good. Yeah. How you feel now? You feel a little silly? Huh? Come here, stop that. Put your bag down. Yeah. You feel a little silly now? I guess so. Accusing me. I mean, I guess I understand I lied to you before, but that was just to get the job done. That, did you like that Mercedes when I bought it? Yeah, nigga, but I, like I said before, that shit old. Baby, you know how many girls, I told you this before, how many girls would be proud to ride around a four-year-old Mercedes from the hood? And I'm trying to get you up out of the hood. What, nigga? It was only Spanish, my nigga. It wasn't that serious. I can't believe you, man. I told that nigga like 5,000 times, I don't like Spanish. What's so fucking hard about that, man? I don't like Spanish. What part of that you don't understand, bro? Damn! 
comprendo, capiche, understand? I don't like Spanish, motherfucker. Damn. And you need to stop laughing, man. I, you know what? You can get out too. I can teach you. First lesson. Panocha. <laughs> See, man, that's why I don't Panocha. want to learn. See, that's what my family did. They always laugh at me, man. Yo, you can walk too, nigga. I can drop you out. I'm telling you, better stop laughing, motherfucker. I'm not playing. <laughs> What the fuck that mean, man? Pussy. How you feel about this bad? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. See, you've been a bad girl. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you ain't. You've been a bad girl. <laughs> oh, Stop. Yeah. I ain't stopping shit. I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. so you stay bad. right there. He's so bad, babe. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been bad. Get all up in there. Get all up in there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That shit. Go deep. Go real deep. Oh, yeah. You feel that? You like that? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Really? Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Uh-huh. Here it come. Here it come. Yeah. Say it again. Panocha. 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 Pussy. Yeah. Teach me some more, man. You know, in my country, we call it kus. <laughs> hey, bro. One language at a time, man. Okay. Okay. Panocha. <laughs> Laugh if you want to, bitch. I speak three languages now. Okay. Let's go. We about to go pick him up or what? Yeah, we about to go pick up your mama off the corner. That's what we <laughs> doing right now. So we can get us some coos. Some panocha. That's what we gonna pick up your fucking mama. How that sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I need a favor, man. I got you. When you pick up this motherfucker, tell him... Tell him I made a mistake, bro. Hey, bro. It's okay to say I'm sorry, man. driving down the freeway, and I saw that. Oh, the, the signboard? The marquee. Oh yeah, the marquee. You know what my dream is? What, to put the sign of your movie up there or something? Yes, niggas from the motherfucking street. Yeah, but it's, it's a cool idea. I like the idea, but it's, the title is very long, and also... What's wrong with the fucking title, bro? Some people might find it offensive, you know? Do you find it offensive? I do not find it offensive, but imagine a family driving by. They see something, they see profanic language. How would you like it? 
Maybe you could use something, you know, to describe some other title or, you know, better yet, you could use an acronym. A what? Acronym. What the fuck is an acronym? Bro? You've never heard of acronym before? Oh my God, here we go. I got to deal with goddamn Spanish, now I got to deal with Mr. College. You went to college, didn't you? Yes, I did. I didn't have an opportunity to go to college, but I had to work. Okay? That's why I wanted it. I'm a nigga from the motherfucking streets. I don't even know what the fucking acronym is, man. I hate it when people like you talk to me like that. It's almost like you're trying to insult me. I'm not insulting you. Maybe educate you a little bit. Like that guy who was teaching you Spanish. He was not insulting you. Come on, relax, you know? Acronym. Acronym. What the fuck is it, man? I can't even spell. Can you even spell that shit? Yes. A C R O N Y M. Acronym. It's not that hard to figure it out. Acronym. We use it in our daily life. Well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. I see niggas from the motherfucking streets, man. That's cold. Think about it, bro. It it's cool. It's it's great. I like it. I mean, yeah. I mean, some young kid, you know, 16, 17 year old, will be walking around, and think, oh, this is so cool. But imagine a family walking around with their kids. They see profanity on a signboard. All right. Okay. Okay. How would you feel about that? No, you're right. You're right, man. So. So an acronym, some similar to uh, oh. Say uh, PB and J. Okay, man. All right. See, you're doing it again, man. What the hell is PB and J, I mean, oh, bro? Come on. I'm done. I'm done. What is this? You don't even know what PB and J is? No, man. Uh, pajamas? Or I don't know. Pajamas. PJs. Oh, like pajamas. PJs. No, that's PJs. PJs is different than PB and J. Okay. PB and J. Peanut butter and jelly. Man, why did you just say peanut butter and jelly? Cause it's easier. Man, why did you just say peanut butter and jelly? Okay. Uh, the point is, instead of using that long, profanic title, you could use NFTS. Okay, what the fuck is As that? As a shortage. Bro? What? What is it? NFTS. What is that, man? Okay, I'm going to say it, but don't get mad. Okay, it is. You know, niggas from the streets. I can't hear you, bro. Niggas from the streets. Okay, whatever you do, don't ever say that in my neighborhood, bro. You asked me. Well, what? that's cool. I'm saying we keep this. We keep that right here, right I, here. I, I will keep it. I will keep it on the low, low, on the okay, down, low, yeah. whatever you want to say it. But the low, low, not the down, low. Uh, okay. The okay. low, low. I, I, Very low. Okay. Okay. I, I will. Do okay. It. Now say it again. How you say? Niggas from the streets. So and the. Acronym? Yes, acronym. It's, you know, instead of going using the entire title, you could use an acronym of, you know, NFTS. Niggas from the streets. Yes. Where'd you get that from? The, the famous group. Um, the famous group. There ain't uh, no famous group named acronyms. Yes, the 80s. Uh, what's that? Oh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Compton. Oh, NWA? NWA, yes. Yeah, that was the name of the group, was NWA. Yes, but what does it mean? It means NWA. No, it means... Oh. Niggas with attitudes. Yes. I was about to say it, but you beat me to it. <laughs> it's a good I thing. I it's a good thing to, I beat I you to want, it. I don't want you to got two to... already, that's enough. Okay, that's... Okay, uh, yeah. so niggas with attitudes, and I'm doing nigger from the, niggas from the streets. Correct. Niggas from... I'm nigger from... I'm just a nigger from the streets. So leave out the MF. Yeah, I mean, it's too much, you know? Keep it simple. You know, they say, keep it simple, stupid. KISS, that's another acronym. K-I-S-S, -S, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. I don't know if you can hear me, we're getting ready to get paid. This is a mockumentary, right? I said it right? It is a mockumentary. Yeah, he's teaching me, man. He's educated. Yeah. I keep him close. We're on our way to Cali. We're gonna head down to Crenshaw, see some of my boy's people. J-Lo got some people down there. What's up, man? Tell them about it, man. There you go with that Spanish. There, there he goes. goes. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's hey, guess here. what? <laughs> I'm telling you. He speaks English, dog. He speaks English. Never go. Oh, fool.
Come on, come on. What are you waiting for? Damn. It's a pandemic life right there, boy. Hitting everybody differently. Look, they fixed up the Christmas tree. They're homeless, but they got a little tree to fix it up. Big Papa pays a visit to the giant and the face of Muscle Beach. That's right, the one and only. I catch her. He wants to ask him about being in his upcoming movies. And also to ask this big mountain of a man, what does he think and feel about Black Lives Matter? Look, buddy. Well, how can I tell you, buddy? I'm from Nigerian and Austrian, but I wasn't raised by a black father. I was raised by a white man. That's my father. How can I say that only black lives matter? Right? You heard that? Every lives matter. Look, we're not Tell trying. We're not trying to say Tell that us. we haven't been enslaved. We haven't been repressed for all these years. But doing the other way around now and saying that things are unequal is not the right way either, right? I believe in one love, peace, black, and I'm proud. It's not about who matters more. It's about we all matter. And we are all for one, right? So we have we a, a, a slogan that is all inclusive, and that's short like that, it should not differentiate. It shouldn't polarize, it should bring people together, right? And I understand, I understand the pain of the black man. I know about the slavery, I'm an African, I know what they're doing to, to my home continent. I know what colonization, what imperialism is, but guess what? We're going to a new age, a new age of love, and it's a rainbow of colors. We're all in this rainbow of colors, right? right. And the diversity, the difference between us is what makes life beautiful. So saying that only one thing matters, it's nonsense. I'm not trying to knock the movement, but I'm just saying we're all equally the same. And, right. and, and my, my black daddy, he didn't raise me. I was raised by a white man. Guess what? In Austria, speaking German. And, and now, I'm, now I'm here, you know what I mean? And, I got white friends, black friends, Italian friends, Asian friends. I'm doing shit. I'm doing Shaolin Kung Fu. I'm doing Chinese martial arts. So, do we want to enjoy life in all these different shades and facades? Or do we want to like just box ourselves in? That's the question, no, right? No, no, no. Yeah, Don't want to do it. Open mind. Exactly. Open mind. Bro. I could not here to see you just for that, man. Yeah. I came you down to know. see you. You already know. With the power of Christ, all things are possible. That's right. Hey, right. you, good. Let me ask you something, bro. What's that? You ever been to prison? Yeah, bro. You have? Yeah. What was it like? Fuck that place, fuck prison. Why you say that? I don't want to be locked up, man. That shit for the birds, bro. I feel you, but... I mean, if that's the case, why'd you do it? Whatever it is that you did. Chasing that bag every time, man. Anytime I've been locked up, it's because I've been chasing that bag. Yeah. That's why we're trying to do this shit the right way, right? Sorry. You ever been to prison? Yeah, I have. I don't know. I think most people call it prison because I've been in jail. I think there's a big difference between jail. Right. At least I do. You got if if you if you had to pick prison or jail, what would it be? Me, my man. A cage is a cage. Facts. That's true. Time's a little bit easier in prison, but jail sucks. But fuck, fuck them both. That's what I say. Not the place I want to be. I've noticed that at least one of you is wearing body armor. And I would just like to make a point in reference to that, in reference to hopefully something that you've discovered here today that is new. And I want to bring this to you from Ephesians 6, 11. And the Bible teaches us, put on the whole armor of God. Son, if there's anything that you'd like to say or speak about, 
Now is the time. Go right ahead. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Some of y'all know me. I'm Milkman. Yep. Wait a minute. Let's hear your real name. My name is Xavier. Amen. Go ahead, Xavier. What do you want to say? Let's just say I haven't been the best parent to my children. Okay. Mainly, this is why I came into this building today. Amen. Looking for forgiveness. We all make mistakes, and I believe that I've made one that has happened to me as well. Um, I'm trying to change the cycle, but things just haven't been going right. I understand. Stop trying, brother. Stop I understand. Trying. You can do this. You can do this. Trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding. Some things are just too hard for us, but God can do it. Trust in him with all your heart. Don't be hard on yourself. He's already given his life for you and given you the opportunity to do better. He's paid for anything that you have done. Amen. You have the opportunity to start a new life. Amen. Amen. Trust and believe in that. You take the first step and he'll take you all the rest of the way. Believe that. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Let's hear it for, for Xavier. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Put on the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Let this go. Wake up, nigga. Wake up, fool. What happened? Hand me that popcorn off the floor, man. My ass feels sleepy. Hand me the bag, man, by your feet. How long was I out? I don't know, man, about an hour and a half. We're almost there, man. The nigga sleep in the back still? Yeah, they still sleep in the back. Y'all gotta ask a question, man. What up? When's the last time you saw your son? Like one year, a little longer. You still your grounding money? No. How'd I make you feel, bro? I don't know. Bad, I guess. You ain't laughing now. Shit ain't funny now, is it? I guess not. I'm going to tell you, boy, I mean this. We get this paper. First thing you do is snack off some money. We might be niggas from the street. But that don't mean we gotta be like our daddies. You got some money, nigga? I got two dollars. You know what, man? Fuck it, man. 
Yo, yo, yo. She, she about damn life. And don't forget it. Damn! Girl brought you in here for one reason. And what's that? Well, try to feel this. I'm doing this film. It's like a mockumentary. It's based on true life shit. You know how a nigga trying to come up? You gotta understand something. I'm just a nigga from the street. I mean, you okay with that? Mm-hmm. All right, word. Well, with that being said, I need you to be like my leading lady. I mean, girl, look at you. You got a mirror at home? Well, you already know. You're perfect from head to toe, girl. And I need you to be my leading lady. I know as soon as I seen you step out that ride and start walking, I was like, look at her, man. She's perfect from head to toe. She's first class. Now that's a lady. That's what I said. That's why I got you up here in this bathroom. And? Well, I'm just trying to feel you. You okay with that? And what do I have to do? Did you get it? What? Oh, no, no, nothing, baby. I'm saying I'm just trying to get it. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, get up in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that mm. shit feels so good. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Call me Big Papa, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, Big yeah let me Papa. pull that here, girl. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 seriously? Uh, what? Man, take off that stupid hood, man. Why you got the mask on and shit? <laughs> listen. Okay. What you get, man? Listen, bro, listen. I got this. All right, man, okay. That's some, that's okay. some change. Okay. Okay, but then she had like a car with aluminum foil, bro. Look. You're one stupid nigga, bro. What are you talking about? A car with aluminum foil? Man, feel it. No. Shh, shh. Listen. You know what this is, nigga? Hell no. This a platinum card, man. We got some. Yo, get this. That's for you and that stupid ass Mexican back there, bro. This is the money right here. This is what's up. She was truly. About that life! Let's <laughs> get the fuck up out of here, man! To the drama. Mama. Wasteland. Damn, bro! <laughs> you about that life, my nigga! God damn, why you knock my headphones off, bro? Cause it sounds like you have motherfucking Tourette's. What's wrong with you? What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm making a song for your movie. Well, can you keep it down a little bit, man? All right. Selling CDs. Go! Spread up and then you gonna get out of here. Tell your mama All she right. owed me. I want my girl, money this time. Mm -hmm. Go on, girl. Alright. are you doing? I'm good. What's up with you, old school? But stop that now. You know I don't like that old school shit. Come on, I missed you. Stop. Uh, so come on now. I'm at work. I got customers in here. Baby, I'm a customer. Look at this shit. I gotta get hooked up. I'm going to this meeting. Really? Yeah, you need to stop tripping now. Damn. What's up? What up? How about my boy? He needs to be hooked up too. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to plug me in next. <laughs> Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know you tripping. Okay, let me hate you. Baby, come on. I need something done with this. I got this meeting. You're not even next. Right, right next. 
Baby, you stop tripping. Them niggas can wait. Come on Them now. I miss customers. you. I miss you. Stop. Mm -hmm. Why you being all mean? Why you think? Where you been, nigga? I've been working. Yeah, you working all right. Working the white girls. Don't think I don't know. You want me to work a bunch of sisters? Mm, whatever. How that car rolling? It looked pretty fresh to me. Baby, you're gonna swap me about a new Benz? My investor got that for me. You got a Benz? I got you a Benz! Nigga, that shit like five years old and it's out of gas. You serious right now? Hell yeah! You, you know serious? How, you know how many sisters in the hood would love to have that you car? You got me a new Benz. Nigga, that shit ain't new. Most damn near new. Baby, you need to stop tripping. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody motivate me like you do. <laughs> Why don't they got customers in here? Man, fuck them that. customers. I'm here. They can't see shit. Fuck them motherfuckers. I'm here. All right? Come on and hook me up. You know what I want to do. You know what I want to see. You know what I want to see. Nigga, I told you I need some gas money. Baby, I got your gas money. All right. All right. So, you show me, I show you? No, you show me and I show you. Baby, you know You know I'm how good. this shit go. You know I'm good. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got. You are not trying to count me out some shit. Are you serious? Ba Give me this. Hey, Bendy. Get it from that white hole. She got you covered. You got me covered? Mm, don't I always? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. You know I like that. Yeah. We'll see about all that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Are you shitting me? I thought I said it was going to start at 8 o'clock. Not at 9.30, not at 9.15, 8 o'clock. Good thing we got here early. Stop fucking with me. Damn. I don't care what he says. I'm the boss. Bushley. Not how we do it. Make sure we right. Don't be crazy, man. Don't be laughing and shit even in the office. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Come on, get right. I don't care. Get right. Okay, okay, okay come okay. on. Okay. Okay. Yo, fat boy gonna have on his glasses like that when we go up in here? Nah, he said he's gonna chill, bro. Good, fuck him. Man. No, I'm clear yeah, on but... that. Yes, we'll be done with that on Tuesday. Great. Yes. Um, if we're a little, we came a little early. We didn't want to be late. If you need us to wait, we can. Didn't want That's to end. good. Okay. Um, I'm Big Papa. This is my boy Lazy Dub, rapper and actor. And this is Milkman. He's also a rapper and actor he does a lot of ballots as well uh, V told us to come see you that there was a possibility you know for us to get signed he said you watched our movie and liked our music and I thought it'd be a high-rise or something bro I, I know we were looking. where's your office that's what I thought uh, no disrespect ma'am uh, it's just that V told us that you represented like Diddy and and Fiddy, he said you even worked with my boy LL. This is uh, over thirty years of real work. Boys, move those boxes there and have a seat. Over there. Right there. Yeah, man. Sit them over there. Got rules. There's no niggers. What? Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna be there on Tuesday and Thursdays. It's gonna be an all day shoot. Both days. Call time about eight. And then. No, 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 no. That location was not approved. You guys need to get your act together. What the fuck? She call me back. Okay, I'm out. Just that's true. Okay, so you the musicians, I've got some rules. There's no niggers. 
There's no bitches, and there's no guns. We clear? I don't understand. In the music. So niggers, guns, bitches, period. So like our music creativity, you want us to water it down? My money, my rules. We clear? So are you looking for that Will Smith type of favor? I'm looking for money. Profitable business. Okay. Do you represent them? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you please have a seat? <clears throat> Mr. Movie Man? Yes, ma'am. Do you have a. Did your mama give you a name? Oh, yes. Yes, she did. She. It's this. Hold. The set has to be as it was designed. The door has to open out. I don't care what the director says. Okay. If there's a problem, we'll deal with it at the end of the day. Got it. You were saying? I'm sorry, I... Did, uh, did your mother give you a name? Oh, yes, she did. It's, it's Wendell. Are you afraid? No. Wendell Jenkins. Funny man, what's your name? My name's Xavier. I get it, Lil. Yeah, get it. And you? Chuck. My cop? Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, movie man. Willard. Got rules for you too. Don't do porn. Boobs okay, no dick pics. We clear? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. They make the music, marrying the soundtracks to your movies. Five movies, three year contract, five fifty. Those the deal. Clear? 550? That won't fill up my gas tank. $5.50? We drove all the way out here for $5.50? Bro. No, man. I spent $30 for this jacket. Bro. I know a little something about this business. Tell me okay. something. Tell me something, bro. 550 is what you said. So 550 is what we get for every time someone watches our movie, right? I think we're getting fucked. No shit. Man, damn. Ma'am, you, you have no idea what we went through to get here. I, I, look, I'm gonna I'm be real with you. I, I got to be me. My mother always taught me you only get one shot in life. This is my shot. I don't... I mean, no disrespect, but... <clears throat> I'm, I'm Jesus. I, I don't even know what to say. We we drove all the way out here. V told. I mean, I know what he got for his contract. Five dollars fifty cent for that just doesn't sound right to me. Look, I don't. I can barely even talk right now. I don't even know what to say. We don't even dress like this. We don't dress like this. I mean, I gotta admit. I mean, he do look good and stuff, but this is not how we roll. You know. And we do say stuff like, you know, like, like niggas and, you know, I got four bitches that I stole money from just to get here. Hmm. I, I, for $5.50, I'm like, I don't get it. I mean, when do we get the money money? You get five fifty today. You get the rest once I get, you get the next five fifty after the first album drops. And then we do it again. It's really simple. Yeah, we, we can't work with that. I guess we, we were mistaken. I I guess we just wasted your time. Standard, 550. You know, I'll be honest with you, really? Hell, if we would have came here and got $10,000 a piece, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. We'd have been cool. I mean, that's. So, so you don't want my half a million dollars? Damn! <laughs> a half million? That's wonderful. That's amazing! Absolutely marvelous. <laughs>
Sounds like a yes to me. Well, all I need is a signature, and we're business. A half million? Okay, let me let me understand this. This is okay. Come on, it's like I'm dreaming. Um, do you mind if I take off my coat? Cause I'm about to pass out. You make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I don't even know. Uh, that's thirty dollars. I got a half million dollars, baby. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say. So just so I got it clear, cause I'm I am in charge. I don't want you know. So we get a half million dollars today for what you heard and what you saw. Yes. And we deliver everything to you from that, all everything, all the tracks. We get another half. Get the first album in my hands, first movie in my hands, another half. Another so we get a million. And then we roll it again. Next project, we do the money again. Okay, hold. On. So, so we talking about like five million dollars. Five million dollars. You got it right. Five million dollars. What do I sign? Right here. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, we oh. appreciate you. Five million dollars, boys? Oh, damn. Close the door, man, close the door. Man, what the hell are you doing smoking? You can't do that out here, man. What's wrong with him? That's 1.25 million for us. This motherfucker speak English? Three languages. Man. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Whoever said a nigga from the streets couldn't make it in this business, huh? Somebody help me. Because over the next five years, Big Papa and company, these niggas went on to make several different movies. Hell, these niggas even made TV shows. You're not going to believe this. Big Papa finally made it big time. He fell into the $20 million club. That's right, bitches. You heard. Big Papa getting $20 million a movie. You know this nigga done lost his mind. The bitches. The cars. Hell, Big Pop even went out and got himself a G6. While on set filming his blockbuster Peach Cobbler, Megan, his producer, sets up a T-exclusive interview for Big Papa. That's right, you heard me. T-exclusive. Congratulations, Big Papa. I guess you finally made it. Victor, I want to thank you for your time today, man. I know you're extremely busy, and it's a pleasure. Busy. Every time you do my hair, you set my hat over there. I'm sorry, Mr. I like to keep my hat by me, please. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I understand you're busy. With that, you know, I want to congratulate you on Water 2, the cleansing coming out. I know you finally made the 20 million club. Okay. Enough, You've sweet cheeks. You've got to be on set in 10 minutes. Milkman, please. Get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so congratulations on your success. That's huge. Also, Thank you're you. very humble with, you know, your success. And that says a lot about you as a person. Um, also, I admire your books that you've written. I've read both of them. What do you want me to blow the mic? Can you do something with this guy? Come on, take it out. Go on the other side or something. Get Come out on. the way. Okay, okay. Jesus. I'm trying to do an interview here. Oh, hi. With your book, Nobody, that I have here. Yes. Um, a few things on there that I wanted to ask you about in person. You know, what made you, yeah. I want to share with my fans if you don't mind. I would love for you to. This is the book she's speaking of, and thank you very much for getting me to that, what was it, million mark? Yes. Thank you for getting me to that million mark. My name is Nobody. Did you read it? I actually did. And what'd you think? I actually really loved it. I love the depth that you went into with, um, you also mentioned a lot about how you were raised by your mom and uh, the things that she has done in your life. And a lot of that is in your book. And uh, I really wanted to know why. Why nobody? Why'd you come up with that name? I understand, but why? What is the why behind it? Well, it's a long story, but I'll make it quick. So yes. I got to be in a set in 10? 10 minutes. My dad, uh, he was dependent on drugs. He's a drug addict. Beat my mom, told me I would never amount to be anything. He said, oh, you'll never be more than just another nigga. You're going to grow up to be nobody. And I swore from the time he told me that to change that by all means necessary. 
So that brings me to your second book. You said, you know it's love when. And in this book, you talk about, actually, you know, um, not being able to sleep because your dreams become that reality? Yeah? Yes. There you guys go. World tour with this Are one. you in love? Have you found love? Are you sleeping? Have I found love? Am I sleeping? First of all, am I sleeping? I'm sleeping just fine. Have I found love? I found love in Paris, Bangkok, Texas, <laughs> China. I found love a little bit every place. And, and that's great. So when you find this love in all these places, do you remember them? Mm, no. Boys from the street, man, let's talk about that. That's so with that movie, that's based on a true story, correct? Yes, it is, actually. So a lot of the things and a lot of the actions in the movie, what would you say it brings back memories for you? What is it that you learn from that movie? What do you want your audience to learn from making this movie? Mm. Well, first of all, it wasn't a movie. Okay. It's a mockumentary. A mockumentary. Thanks for correcting me. Uh, it's a mockumentary. What do I want them to learn? That they could change. That they can change. And... Have you changed? So do you have any regrets? Oh, I think we all have regrets. Sure, I have regrets. Um, I wish I would have finished you know, school. I dropped out of college my first year. Seems like you're doing well for yourself. Do you really regret that? Well, doing well is all relative. What do you mean by that? Doing well. We talk financially? Yeah. Yeah, financially. I'm doing... Hella good. Yeah. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> so when you say you have regrets, what is it that you would regret? Probably not having kids. Probably kids. Kids. Yeah. Would you say that's because you didn't really give that love that you speak of in these plenty of states and countries that you visited these women? That you really don't remember the women to really add any value to your life to have the children that you wish for? Hmm. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. Because on one hand, yes, I do wish I had kids. Uh, so far as a woman's concerned, uh, they were women. I'm a man. Uh, we did what we did. Um, No, I can't really say. So far, as far as that's concerned, and the women and stuff, it's just, it's just something I did. That's all. Something I did. So if you had a daughter, and men treated them the same way that you treated women, how would that make you feel? You look familiar. Do I? Yeah, you do. And what do I remind you of? Milkman, <laughs> do you see this? No. I do remember you. I definitely want you to remember me. No! of all scrutiny yeah so when you staring at me tell me what do you see please uh, look deep in my eyes find that i tell no lies you've been advised i take no l's on my side nah. no quiero petty dies no quiero petty dies Counting pesos, stack ends to the sky To the end, all a nigga got is pride To this boy, take me to the other side uh, No quiero, Betty dies All money in, ain't no switching on my side Put the chips on the table, let it ride No quiero, Betty dies 
Y fuego, you know what I say, go Running the funds up, clocking my sons We straight out the slums, y'all took the safe route I just wanna stake out, I told them to take notes Watching the dough rise like you in the Dow show Like whoa, how the stocks grow Voila, black magic, sombrero, white rabbit Thought you saw ain't really grass like damn, damn <laughs> One misstep, wrapped in plastic Heads roll like how to happen No man alive can match the passion Beautiful, can't pimp this butterfly. Lola bunnies by my side, every last one down the ride. Like, like five bunnies, one cloud. No horses over on this side. No keto, petty dots. No keto, petty dots. Counting pesos that ends to the sky. To the end, all a nigga got is pride. To the Lord, take me to the other side. No keto. All money in, ain't no switching on my side Put the chips on the table, let it ride, let it ride. No quiero no tengo miedo y tú no eres un reto A esto le meto y arriba le llego Plante pandera primero, ahí vienen los celos Yo no soy maga, pero duplico la paca Como una abra cadabra De aquí me entero todo lo que hablo Siguen de haters, pero eso no paga yeah. Voy a coger un chin de aire No hay nadie que me acobarde No hay que en la boca me calle Este flow mío de calle yeah, yeah, yeah. No quiero me pare, ya, yeah. no quiero pérdida Si jode conmigo habrá pérdida Búscame pa' que te tuve No no quiero pérdidas Counting pesos, stack ends to the sky To the end, all a nigga got is pride To the Lord, take me to the other side yeah. No quiero pérdidas All money in, no switching on my side Put the chips on the table, let it ride No quiero I wanted to uh, catch up with my boy, Chuck Taylor also known as Lazy Dub, check him out. He's on Instagram. Uh, he's got some dope music, and he's one hell of an actor. Now. But more than anything, I wanted to get him here since we're at a rap and get his views on what we did, how he feels as not only a talent, as an actor, as a musician, a rapper, and a father of six. I mean, but we gotta motivate each other, and we gotta pull each other up. I ain't with all the knocking the other people down to try to bring myself up. We can win as a team, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm more for the team. Like, hey, he reach out, he needs my help. By all means, likewise, if I was to reach out oh, yeah. and ask him for help, no you know problem. what I mean? But we're gonna move. We're gonna move a little bit different, and we're gonna make more moves if we work together rather than try to look at others as competition. I appreciate the working with this brother. Can't wait. I'm hoping that he does some um, scrutiny with me, that little Narcos Valley and scrutiny. That's what I'm hoping for, but the deal hey. has not been solidified yet, but I think he... I, I think, never know. Let's see, I think he he thinking about it, so that's a good thing. Check out his movie, Narco Valley, and also check out Scrutiny. Little books, little films. Yes, sir. And you? Narco Valley, Lazy Dub, look it up. There you go. Y'all niggas got me fucking high. Look, we had a part. I'm going to introduce this gentleman. We had a part in it in tail smoking weed. Well, we're in this house, and the particular owner of the house didn't want real weed smell, so we had to give him a pen. But you know, the smoke from a pen isn't like from a real blunt or real joint. It's just not the same. So he needs to like hit it extra. Well, long story short, this is the end result. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, I think we did like three, three different takes. Was it three? Might have been four. It might have been four K. We've done like three or four takes. And he's fire. well also short. He's like, no more, no more, no more. So here we are with the interview. And again, at a rap, Jesse's rapping with us um, for today. And um he's a, he's a grandpa, by the way, as of last year. Yep. As of last year, he's a grandpa with that smooth skin of his. But um he also makes music. Jesse's been a a, new, a number of films, <laughs> numerous films. Actually, uh too many to name for me. Yes. My question to you, Jesse, is um why did you jump aboard uh, and leave the medical field to come out to hang out with a bunch of thugs? And, oh, that's right, you are a thug. I'm sorry. Um, to come out and hang out with a bunch of niggas from the motherfucking streets. What I just always had loved working with Little Books, Little Films on all the films that they got going on. Um, the, the backstory to this was when he said the name of the story, Nigger from the Streets. 
Nigga from the streets. Nigga from the motherfucking streets. Nigga from the motherfucking streets. Right. Um, that took that kind of touched home because that's where I'm from. You know, might show all this persona and go go over drinking. I don't know what the hell he served me, but he's trying to send me home drunk. Gin and juice, bro. Gin and juice, there you go. And then uh, it just took me back to my roots, what we were doing. When we were out walking down Crenshaw, felt like I was at home. It was uh, it was a beautiful thing. Um, that was one of my main reasons jumping on this, to make go back to my roots, where we all come from. So we all learned from each other, and we, it was a message. That's the bottom line. This shit's got a message in it. And if you can't feel it, that's too bad for you. And I guess you know nothing about niggas from the motherfucking streets. We out. There he is. That's my sound man uh, who basically did this for nothing, basically, for real. Um, he also taught me. Though we were joking a lot in the film, he, he, we touched some events, if you will, from 9-11 to, to racial stuff that we spoke about that um, me being ex-military and him being from Iraq. Iraq, did I pronounce that right? Yeah, Iraq is actually, Iraq? I think it's the, the right um, pronunciation. Okay. Right. Iraq, him being from there, you know, it just kind of give you like mixed feelings. You know, I'm from New York. You, know, you all know what happened with the towers and stuff. So it was kind of weird, um, but we actually spoke and talked and we learned a lot from each other. You know, it really, it came out because of this mockumentary, because I've worked with him before and really, I really didn't know shit about the country. When did you move here? How old were you? Um, I was 19. So that was 11 years ago. 11 years ago, he came here. So us being niggas from the motherfucking streets, um, he's an uh, Iraqi from the motherfucking streets. Doing this project has taught me a lot because it has taught me about a culture that I was um, not very familiar with. Doing this mockumentary, even though it's a mockumentary, but you actually go through people's, um, you know, like experiences or, or past. Every project that I've worked on up to this point is, has been either feature films or commercial work. And so this was an eye opening. Would you do it again? Definitely. And I think we should do it even in other, other cultures. I, I agree. I'm, um, don't try to steal our idea because we already have this down on paper. We already got it down. So don't try to steal it. You know, I don't care whether you're from Iraq or, or the, the States or New York or Japan. If you don't have communication, we're all pretty much dead in the water. Um, I'm glad I got to know you. I mean that. Thank you. I do. It was a, a pleasure and an honor working with you. You have very smile. little soft hands. I'm sure the <laughs> girl's like that too. He's cute, got little soft hands. So there you go. That's my boy Zay. And um, thanks, brother. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for having me. We got Cindy Snyder, also mother of twins, two beautiful twins. Uh, artist. What's your Instagram for your artwork? Snyder Gallery. Snyder Gallery. Check it out. You know what? I got some. I got a deal. So, you know. You, I knew, don't even, you knew people. I knew people. I knew people. So my piece was only $1,100. She's but been no. with me and working with me in the filming industry for years. I don't want to lie. It's been years. Over five, six years. It's been a long time. But more than anything, Cindy isn't an actress. She's my producer. She's my motivator. She's my ass kicker. When I have people on the set, she kicks ass and get them going. On a positive note, I said, I need you. She said, okay, what do you need? I'm there. I said, I need you to act. She's like, oh, no, that's not me. I said, I need this because I'm a nigga from the streets. She actually laughed. The white lady from, where are you from originally? Dallas. The white lady from Dallas was cracking up just on the title. I knew it was good then. When she started laughing, I said, this good shit. I needed a white person for my film, Niggas from the Motherfucking Street. How are we going to have a film like that without having our white representative. So here she is. Um, and every project or every business, whatever, they got to have a certain quota, don't they? No. That's right. She went from not acting to like, you'll see her in this, she crushes it, <laughs> to doing this killer kick ass role. Why? Because you asked me. And that's the truth. I mean, there are 
lots of obstacles in this business we've learned along the way. And got beat up. Get beat up, get kicked in the teeth. We've had it happen to our to our company. And every once in a while you just need a break. And so I think you know why people need to give more people a break. And not only did she crush it, I'm honored to have her be a part of it because she's representing um reality. We all are right. our last red carpet, what did you say to me? I'm not doing it again unless it's great. I was like, ouch. Because it was my movie she was watching. This is my movie she was representing at that front door and helping people in the whole nine yards. And I felt like I let her down, but really I let myself down. And it's not that it was bad, we could do better. Yeah, it's that. And that's, recycle. It's gonna be, it's a great story. That's not, this, that's not my I'm question. I'm looking forward to producing. No, she, I, no, no. I want her to act in And this. if some actors need I, to hit me up, if you can top what I can do, <laughs> so she's gonna be in it. Good, because I want. There's a part I had for her. And I I don't want to say the lady's name. She's like big talent. And after seeing her performance, I was like, I'm still gonna do the big talent because I gave her my word. She's gonna be in the, the project. But I actually want her to do the part because sometimes, you know, it doesn't take big stars to like knock Wait, it down. What? I got T in the house. He is here. My question to you, T money. Oh, this is going to be a good one because it's Terrell Matthew. <laughs> you can look him up. Instagram, Terrell Matthew. You Check go. him out. Spotify, um, Apple. You look for his music. It is there. This boy got G-A-M-E. I did this because I'm a nigga from the motherfucking streets, first of all. But second of all, like, the stories that are told, like, the instances, these are real stories and things that people actually go through every day. This is going to be really good to like show like what really happens when people have absolutely no clue about other cultures. Will you do it again? Hypothetically, if we went to, let's say we stayed in the States, we went to Florida. Yes. Japan. I, yeah. Germany. Yeah. Copenhagen. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Just do what you need to do and work as hard as possible so that you can be there for your children. Uh, this movie shows, you know, what what people have to go through on both sides uh, to make it in this industry. This is not easy. This is not easy. Not this is no. not easy. This is way longer than eight hours. This is hard work. This is tears, sweat, front street, all of it right now in your face. Like this, if you don't have thick skin, do not do this. We sat around and just started talking crap like niggas from the streets. And we had a laugh. I was on the ground. My stomach was hurting. I had tears coming down my face. And he was like sitting there with his nobody hat on in his robe. And he's like, you know what? We about to do this because I'm a nigga from the... But it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We were just going all excited. And like he was like, okay, Terrell. He was like, what you got? Let's see. But the difference... Between, you know, us and like a lot of people out there, we sat at a table, we had an idea. And we actually did it. So go fuck yourselves. Facts. That's how I feel. Terrell, thanks for coming through. Appreciate you, boy. Um, we killed it. We did. We're out. We have Audrey in the house, a.k.a. Roxy, a.k.a. What was your psychiatrist? Angela. Fat Angela. Yeah. Uh, a.k.a. a lot of names. She's been in a lot of movies uh, with little books, little films. Um, and she's also that producer that works whenever you want to sleep in. In fact, when she goes to sleep, it's like this. <laughs> so I told her about this movie, and um, she said, um, whatever I can do to help. Whatever I can do to help. And, and everybody said that, actually. So, But she said, whatever I can do to help. But she said, I thought you were starting Recycle. I said, I am. I'm doing Recycle, too. She said, well, not only are you doing Recycle, you already like almost doubled the budget on Recycle. Um, I said, um, I hear you. Give us about, how many days did I ask for? Terrell, five, seven? You said about eight to... Oh, oh like, total. Total of shooting? Right, no, we're editing everything. Editing everything? Like eight days. <laughs> yeah, it was like... Eight, eight days. Nine. And we're going to have this done in eight days. I don't want to lie to you guys. I want to say we got a lot of money into it. We did this. We did that. That's bullshit. We had an idea. We got off our asses. We left our families. We done it. So what you're watching, the shit's real, bro. I want to ask her two questions. One, why the hell do you stay up so late every night? That's my second one is, 
Why would a white Jewish woman from the suburbs of Chicago, Jarrell's laugh, you hear me in the background? <laughs> uh, from the suburbs of Chicago, work with a bunch of niggas from the motherfucking streets. <laughs> oh, and from someone from Iraq, too. <laughs> okay, so first question, why do I stay up? Cindy and I joke all the time that um, a lot of people don't understand what we do. And it doesn't happen by magic. You have to actually put in the time. And for me, late at night, when I'm by myself with my computer, there are no distractions. I can get everything done. There are no interruptions. And the fact is, the work has to get done. So if I have to stay up till 4 in the morning to do it, you know, so be it. And why nigga from the motherfucking street? Uh, Why'd you laugh when I first told you? Because it's so politically incorrect that it almost makes it funny. What I'm asking you is, between you and your white Jewish homies, do you think this would <laughs> circulate? Uh, no, not unless one of us had a connection to it somehow, knowing someone that was in it, or someone somehow came across it saw it and was like, oh my God, you guys have to see it. We'll this. make sure her name gets a black screen <laughs> and we put the little Jewish symbol so they know that we have somebody. So but yes, if there's a connection, absolutely. And the bottom line is, if someone finds something funny, even, I don't care if there's one outrageous, funny scene that it's like, oh my God, you guys have to see this. That's when it gets passed through places it normally would oh. yes. Well, that being said, I wanted to thank her for her work. As with, again, with Cindy, I want to mention her and Cindy. Without them, we ain't nothing. So, so um, those producers that produce, you got to give them a lot of credit. And I think when you believe in yourself, mm -hmm. I mean, you go all out. You, you don't care. I mean, you care, but you don't care. You want it to be, be done well. And I, I come from, um, I'm a black Hispanic, and my mother always taught me, if you want something done right, do it yourself. And if you believe in it, put up or shut up. You know, um, with that being said, I said, if I was able to look, and I said this like probably a week ago, a month ago, if I could have looked at a crystal ball 10 years ago, and said, if you become an independent filmmaker, this is what you had to go through. And I don't say this to discourage anybody that wants to become an independent filmmaker. I said, I would have never done it. I wouldn't have. But after making this one, Niggas from the Motherfucking Streets, I do it all over again. And again. And again. I don't know if that makes me a nigga from the Motherfucking Streets or just... A black guy that you know, wants to get it done, that cares, because that's really who I am. Thanks a lot, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. What we're doing. So we put this together for all of you filmmakers out there that um, I know it gets a little hard sometimes. You know, you don't, I won't say you don't believe in yourself, but it just gets a little hard. And you're like, what the hell are you doing? Well, this is what we did. What so, inspired you to do this mockumentary? Everything from Black Lives Matter to um, single single women, single mothers, uh, uh, black and white single mothers, uh, and mostly my culture because for us as blacks, you know, we, most of us grow up without fathers being there. Uh, but I would like her to go first. This is real, right? This yeah, let's be okay. real. Oh, <laughs> you mean really real? Yeah. No, I, I saw something there. I saw you know, for me as a black woman. Well, even personally, just the struggles of being in one situation, knowing you want to change, trying to figure out how you're going to get there. What do you need to do? Going to AFM, I think for me was, that was, that was hard because you go there and you're trying to sell your films and which you'll see some clips of some of my films, but my first film, which was, my name is nobody. And, um, going there and trying to sell it. And they basically like laugh in your face. But after seven years, I found like a great group of people. And I call them the Bulls. We're the Bulls. And we're after the ring. Tony Mitchell, great actress. <laughs> My name is Nobody. Real, oh, you got to see her Real Blood. Real Blood is a crappy movie that we made. We had a blast <laughs> making it. Um, yeah, that was um, fun. Fire and, no, not Fire and Rain. What else? Real Blood. My movie name is madness. Nobody. Movie Madness. Scrutiny. Water. Scrutiny. Um, yeah, Water 1 and 2. Water 2. And we get ready to do Water 3. She's, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, 
um, Phoebe, what is it? The Kitty Bonnie Conscious Living. Mm. We've done a lot of stuff. Just go to Little Books, Little Films. You'll see her, Tony Mitchell. Tony Mitchell, and also, oh, you got to see her. Thank you, T. He's whispering. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to whisper, bro. It's a mockumentary. We can do it up. The only one. <laughs> Peach Cobbler, you have to see her. That was great. Actually, well, that was really great. It's a funny movie. It's heartfelt. You have to see then that. Tony Mitchell, Instagram Tony Mitchell, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Selena. <laughs> Selena Villalobos. Hello. Uh, my Nordstrom's lady. Short story, I met her at Nordstrom's. We went out, uh, went on a little date, hung out. I got to know her and I was like, what the hell are you doing in the department store? She was a manager, a manager of Nordstrom's and it was just like, you're better than that. You know, the girl can sing, she can dance, she's got a killer figure, and her acting is just off the chain. Thank uh, you. I want to get this out of the way. Scrutiny? Um, Scrutiny, um, Bikini Body Conscious Living, Peach Cobbler. Um, My name is Nobody. Name is no yeah, a little part in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. A little part in that. And then um, Real Blood, The True Beginning. Yes. And. Oh gosh, water, obviously. Oh, water, right. Water one and water <laughs> two. Water one and water two. Yeah, but I know you went to, um, what was it, Atlanta? You were in a couple of major productions there. Oh, Dynasty? Dynasty? Yes. Yeah, Dynasty? Yeah, Dynasty. Okay. okay. I wonder, like, remember my lines. Um, what are your insecurities when it comes to the filming industry? Like that, you know, when you... so, it, you know, you, you, you play a role that's supposed to be this beautiful person, but you see your scars and your flaws. You're like, how can that other people perceive me as a beautiful person when I've got those flaws? But um, then you go back to, you know, who the person on the inside and who they are. Yes. What that makes them and hopefully people see that. Good. And it overcomes that. So you're a rap, you're rap today? Yes. Yeah. You're rap and... Tony, yes. you're rap today, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to, obviously, these guys are rap. Clap for, them out. For a nigga from the motherfucking street. Which is actually, <laughs> thanks to Zay, he said, you want to be politically correct. <laughs> so he changed the name. He's right. Yeah. So we're going to do it so we're politically correct for Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Here we go, you know, conforming. Because mm -hmm. really, personally, I would like it to say, niggas from the motherfucking streets. But the fact of the matter is, regardless of how you view us, whether you view us as African-American, Mexican, whatever racial slur you want to come up with, we're basically all nobodies. nobodies.